Hi all, it's Sofan from TechCycle. In this video, we are going to look at a method to install both Dolby Atmos and Viper for Android on your Oreo devices. So let's jump into this. To install Dolby Atmos and Viper for Android, the prerequisite is that your device should have Magisk installed. Disclaimer guys. I will not be responsible for anything happen to your device by following this tutorial. Every possible outcome of this tutorial is upon you. So be careful on what you are doing. So overview of this video is like downloading the required files for this tutorial, installing. At last, at the end of this video, we are going to look at the issues and fixes for some of the problems you are going to face by using these applications. So let's jump into this. So head over to the link in the description that is zackptg5.com. On that website, you can download all the files required for this tutorial. So download audio modification library and scroll down and download Dolby Atmos Axon 7 Oreo. After that, scroll down and choose Viper for Android. And on that menu, you can find multiple options like Viper for Android FX, Viper for Android i5 you can choose the preferred version for you for this tutorial i'm going to choose with viper for android fx for both fx and i5 the tutorial is same just the files will be different so after downloading all the files reboot your device to recovery mode on recovery mode choose install and install dolby atmos after that install viper for android while installing Viper for Android, there will be some questions and you need to pick the answer by using the volume key. If you want, you can choose Aroma Installer. The choice is up to you. And the questions and the answer that I choose are the first question is First one is to choose the app version. I choose the 2.5.0.5 version. After that, it asks me to choose whether the original version or materialized version of this Viper for Android. I prefer the materialized version. After that, it asks me to install this Viper for Android as system app or as user app. I choose the system app because it is more secure and more convenient. So after installing both this mode, install audio modification library. After installing audio modification library, reboot your device. After reboot on the app drawer, you can find Dolby Atmos and Dolby surround sound from the Dolby Atmos audio mode and Viper for Android FX from the Viper for Android FX audio mode. Now for the problems you are going to face while using this application. The first problem and the biggest problem you are going to face after installing this audio mode is that the sound of your device will not be there. The sound will be gone completely. Don't be afraid because the fix is very simple. Just add or to Dolby surround sound application and just turn off that and enable it back. This is the starting problem on Dolby Atmos application and after rebooting your phone, if you are facing this issue again, just do this and the sound will be fixed back to normal. Another problem regarding this Dolby Atmos application is on the Dolby Atmos application, if you made any changes, you cannot see that changes. To refresh the application, you need to just close the application and you need to open it again. This is the refreshing problem of the application and the only solution right now is to close the application and reopen it again. Another problem regarding this Dolby Atmos is that there will be no reset option on Dolby Atmos. If you check that, you can find that there is no reset option. And to get the reset option, just swipe from the side and choose tutorial. And after that, go back to your Dolby Atmos application. Now you can find that reset button. After pressing the reset button, there will be no change. Just then just close the application and reopen it again there will be change and now for the problem regarding viper for android if you are having doubt whether the viper for android is working or not just play some music on your phone add out viper for android enable the master switch on phone speaker and add over to master gate and change the output gain value and you can feel the difference in the output volume of your device that is because this viper for android is working perfectly now if you want to uninstall this mode or if you want to uninstall any of the mode that is you don't like the viper for android and you need to get rid of this viper for android or if you want to uninstall dolby atmos the uninstallation uninstallation process is very simple that is the one of the benefit of this application you can either uninstall it directly from mages or you can do that on recovery mode 
that is if you are end up in boot loop you can use this method and on recovery mode choose install on install choose the audio mode you want to uninstall that is the same installation file choose that and install it again it is going to uninstall that particular audio mode if you want to uninstall this audio modification library you can do the same so that's all about this tutorial guys thanks for watching if you are having any issue or if you are facing any problems while installing this tutorial just comment down below i will be there to help you or guide you on this process so that's all about this video guys thanks for watching talk to you next one and don't forget to subscribe